Hey crafty friends, it's Joy here and I am super excited to share these fun tags that you can add to little treats that you can give at the holidays. So I'm going to be using the Seasons Sweetings Stamp and Coordinating Die. Tons of cute sentiments. I'm also going to be using the Baking Spirits Bright Stamp and Coordinating Die and the new Latte Ink and Cardstock. I'm also going to be using the Tag Stacklets 2 dies and the checking in background stencil, the brand new winter green ink and cherry pop ink along with some sugar cube cardstock. So in my Misty, I have the latte cardstock where, with the stamps from the Baking Spirits Bright and we're going to create these little iced uh, gingerbread cookies. So I'm going to be using some white embossing powder for the frosting, which is going to be what is stamped onto this. I prepped it with an anti-static powder tool. I am going to use Versamark ink and I usually ink it up twice. I want to make sure I'm getting a really good impression. So I'm going to ink that up. I do have my heat tool on already and getting nice and warmed up. It just kind of helps with less warping of your cardstock. So let me pull this out of here and then I'm going to sprinkle on my white embossing powder. And this is going to give us our cute little cookie shapes and I just think they're so much fun. I'm going to heat that until it's nice and melted but we've got some snowflakes, a stocking, a house, a gingerbread man and it looks like a cute little ornament. Then I'm going to stamp four sentiments because we're going to make four tags from the Seasons Sweetings stamp set and then I'm also going to use the coordinating die to die cut these out but I'm going to stamp this on sugar cube cardstock using the new latte ink. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of do a reverse on that uh, opposite of what we just did with the cookies. So I'm going to get that nice and inked up. Let's use the coordinating dies. I can just tape those in place and run that through the die cut machine. And then of course I'm going to use the coordinating dies for the Baking Spirits Bright stamp set but there's two kind of sets of dies. So you have the smaller ones that go right around the images and then you almost, it looks like a shadow piece that's a little bit bigger that I'm also going to be using. And I die cut that from the latte cardstock and that's what I'm going to be gluing together here. So you have that background piece that's a little bit bigger. And again, that's from the latte cardstock. So I'm going to glue those pieces together. Then there is a super cute little die that looks like someone has taken a bite out of the cookies and I'm going to die cut that. That's that little piece there. I'm going to die cut that on every one of the cookies. I, I don't end up using the two little snowflakes or the ornament. I use the other pieces, the other guys, but I wasn't sure yet which ones I was going to use. So I just stamped them all and die cut them all. I can save that later for another project. So I ran that little die cut through and look at that cute little bite. I love that. Then on another piece of latte card stock, I am using the checking in background with cherry pop ink. So I want that to be red. And then I'm going to do another one using the new winter green cardstock. This is going to be part of our background with those tag stacklets two dies. We're going to use two of those. This background is going to be for the largest tag. So now I have my red one. Let's do the green one with that new, brand new winter green. It is a perfect green. It is so, so, so pretty. And I love it against this latte cardstock. So I'm getting the largest tag die out of the tag stacklets two dies. And I'm just going to line this up. I'm using the grid paper to help me decide how large of a piece I want because I'm going to die cut this and then adhere it to another piece that I die cut using this tag from the latte cardstock. So I'm going to get two tags out of each of the green and red backgrounds here. So now we have kind of this bottom piece and that's what I'm going to adhere to the bottom of another die cut tag, the same size using latte cardstock. So now we've got two greens, we'll have two reds. Here is that tag from the latte and then I'm gonna do a smaller tag. It's the, not the next one down from the largest, but the third one down from the largest. I'm gonna die cut four of those from sugar cube cardstock. We can adhere those pieces that we die cut to the bottom. So this is just gonna give the background tag a little something extra. You could also just stamp this on the background tag, 
I just knew I would get it crooked, so I did it this way. But I think that checking in background stamp is so cute. I love the pattern, I love the size of it. Now I have all of my sentiments and my images and I have some foam adhesive behind them. I'm just going to adhere that to that white tag. But look at how cute these are, I just love these. And I have some baking twine in my stash, a red and white one and a green and white one. I'm gonna be using those that match the green and the red. So I'm just going to stick those through. I also had a hole punch that I just, in my stash that I die cut the hole at the top of both of these tags. So I'm gonna run that baker's twine through and then tie a little knot at the top. And I'm gonna do that for all four of these. They are so, so cute. Let's take a look at these up close. Aren't these so darling? These are perfect to add to your little treats that you might give to your neighbors at the holiday time. So simple, so quick and easy to make, but they are darling. You can write your to and from on the back and I just think they turned out so cute. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Mm -hmm.